Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the David Hasselhoff Christmas Special with your host, David Hasselhoff. Hello, everybody, and Merry Christmas. And it's the, can we get the uh, turn down, please? Thank you. It's the Christmas edition of my show, the David Hasselhoff Show. And tonight, with special guest from G.I. Joe Mainframe will be on the show. From Star Wars, Count Duca will be on tonight's show. And tonight's very special guest. And also on tonight's program, Skeletor will be here, ladies and gentlemen. Skeletor. And tonight's very special guest, all the way from the North Pole, Santa Claus, ladies and gentlemen, Santa Claus. And with me tonight, as usual, my bodyguard, Hulk Hogan. Hey, how you doing, brother? That's right. And play me to the desk, Hogan. spectacular Christmas show as you can see over here uh, not over there over there it's a Christmas tree a very special Christmas tree given to us from our producers ladies and gentlemen my producer Mark Sandberg Mark hey David how's it going hey Mark welcome to the David Hasselhoff Christmas Spantacular show it's very good to be here, David. I just want to give you a very special gift on this very special occasion. Really? What's that, Mark? You'll see. Here you go, David. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Huh. It's a, uh, it's a giant candy cane. It's just very special. We appreciate everything you do for here at the station. Thank you, Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark has just given me a giant candy cane and stuck it on my desk. What a wonderful likeness for tonight's Christmas show. Huh, Hogan? Oh, uh, yeah, whatever you say, brother. <laughs> Hogan doesn't speak very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for my first guest of tonight on the David Hasselhoff Spantacular Show, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... Mainframe from G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, real American hero. Hey, David, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, Mr. Uh, Mainframe, Mr. Mainframe. Yes, Mr. Mainframe, please have a seat. Uh, it's good to have you on the show, Mr. Mainframe. Well, thank you, David. It's very good to be here. Um, very fun to be here, I, I might add. Well, uh, as you know, G.I. Joe has been on the air for many, many years now. Um, Actually, it's been off the air. Oh, yes, off the air for many, many years now. Um, how do you feel about this? That's okay, David. I've been doing little bits on different shows and stuff like that. And uh, quite frankly, we're enjoying retirement. What do you do with yourself now that G.I. Joe has been off the air? I work mostly at Dell. Dell hired me a few years ago, back in 1989, uh, right after we realized the movie wasn't too successful. But it was very successful. I saw it, and I liked it very much. Well, I'm glad somebody did, David. But the truth is, uh, not everybody felt that way. And so anyway, uh, Hogan, what are you doing? Sorry, dude. I got a cold. Oh. Well, please don't do that during the show. You mean that? Yes, that's 
very disgusting. Please, no one wants to hear you sopping up your mucus. Sorry about that, David, brother. But, you know, I got a cold, so what you gonna do? Yeah, what you gonna do? You use that line all the time. So anyways, mainframe, it's good to have you on the show. Um, that's it? Yeah, pretty much. What, you have some issues you want to bring up? Um, we will be appearing January the 21st. It's called G.I. Joe on Ice. And we hope that everybody comes and sees the show. Yes, very good then. Well, uh, good to have you on the show. We have to go to a small commercial break. And when we return, it'll be my next guest, uh, Count Dooku, will be here. So stay tuned, everybody. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Hogan, you don't have to do that anymore. Oh, sorry, brother. Hi, I'm He-Man. And you might remember me from such shows as He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Well, now we have our very own DVD. And this is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Season 2, Volume 1. Please be sure to get my new DVD in any fine store in your DVD retailer. Thank you. Hi, you have problem with car? Does car get stuck in mud? Do you need a tow? If this happens to your car, I can lift your car for you. You don't need a tow truck. You don't need nothing. Watch as me lift it. Ah, Hawk lift car. Hawk pay low. Hawk ask for low pay in return. Just call the number on the bottom of your screen. Ah, that number again is one eight hundred five 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 six seven eight nine. Please call today. Don't make Hawk angry. You wouldn't like it when he's angry. An honest, uh, honest. Do 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 do. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the show. <laughs> that David Hasselhoff show. Now, ladies and gentlemen. With no further ado, my next guest can be seen in Star Wars 1, Episode 1, I'm sorry, Episode 1, and Star Wars Episode 2, and Star Wars Episode 3 at the very end. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, Count Dooku to the show. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, Count Dooku. Mr. Dooku, what have you been up to lately? Nothing, David. I'm dead. <laughs> you look pretty alive to be dead to me. Yeah, well, I'm not. What, do you think this is some sort of laughing matter or something? They cut off my head. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, in the movie they cut off your head, so how is it that you're still walking and talking with us today? Don't answer questions that you might get your arms chopped off for. The dark side of force is a very difficult force and fact for you to figure out. Besides that, I'm not really here under that consumption, David. You should know that above all people. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the dark side. <laughs> the dark side of the force indeed. Well, do you have any other works uh, on the way, Mr. Dooku? No, of course not, you idiot. I'm dead, remember? Besides, the whole Star Wars saga is over with. Oh, um... So, uh, can we go to the commercial?
No, you cannot go to the commercial, sir. Sorry. Gotta keep rolling. Crap. So, uh, Mr. Dooku, uh, would you like a candy cane? What I would like is for you to shut your mouth. Look, Mr. Uh, Count, sir, um... Yes? What do you want, sir? What are you doing there? What do you got in your hands? Sir, what are you doing with that? What are you... No, sir, put that away. Put that away. You shut up. No, don't you, don't you wave that thing uh, in front of me. I will cut you in half, Mr. Hoff. <laughs>